Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pamir Esas, and I talk to you today as a proud Norwegian. Norway is the benchmark for every single country in the world, in every aspect there is. When it comes to education, welfare, humanitarian aid, year after year, Norway is selected as the best country to live in in the world. But we fail at one major aspect, and that's when it comes to climate change. When I turned 21, I founded my NGO called Student Aktion. We mobilize students in Scandinavia in order to educate young Afghans. And as a result of our efforts this year alone, 500 new children in Afghanistan will be provided with education. I launched Student Aktion because everywhere I went, I saw people talking about helping the Afghan youth, but no one walked the walk. I founded the Student Aktion on the basis of the Norwegian values that I was brought up with with being in, like, in solidarity with people who have less than you, with taking the hard actions to make sure that the coming generations has a brighter future. These values are the ones that we fight for. That these values are the ones Norway is not living up today by being one of the world's biggest ex exporters of oil and gas. The United Nations Climate Scientists, or the IPCC, has stated clearly that if we are to achieve the ambitious two-degree goal of global warming, we need to let two-thirds of the world's known oil and gas to stay in the ground. Norway cannot then, as the world, one of the world's most wealthy nations, continue to look for more. Norway has both the expertise and the resources to establish a new green energy sector. But that demands from our government to phase out the oil industry and in pace in line with increasing investments in green and renewable industries. This year, uh, the license for a, new felt, uh, for a new field was launched, the Johan Sverdrup field. This field alone has more oil and gas than the yearly production of United States, Russia, United uh, Arab Emirates, combined. So this is a call from my generation to our Prime Minister Anna Solberg, to our Climate Minister Tina Suntoft, to reverse this process, to retract the licenses. It may be, uh, the consequences must, may be painful today, but the consequences of not doing it in the long term will be way worse. And I hope that this government will continue to li live up to the, no the Norway I knew as a child, to continue to work for a better world, not for only for Norwegians, but for all.